We're on Leech Lake today, it's Pat McSherry and I. On today's Go Angling, and we are in midsummer patterns now, we're gonna show you how to put spinner blades to use to catch walleyes here on one of Minnesota's most popular lakes. In-depth outdoors, Go Angling. Brought to you by Gander Outdoors. Good fish. Good call, Patrick. <laughs> you almost think that uh, electronic stuff will work, right? right? I have made no ground on this one. I'm probably gonna need your help with the scoop, Pat. Well, just like our fashion, uh -huh. we got no net. <laughs> it's kind of become like a tra tradition for us. I promise everybody, we're not doing it on purpose. That's a solid fish. Colorado blade. Colorado blade, number four. Oh yeah, nice fish. Scoop. Got him. There you go. Chunky. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. Yeah, that's a solid fish. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, it's going to be a little nerve wracking if uh, we get a giant. Yeah. Of course, when they're hooked, they're hooked, right? Yeah. Not going anywhere. Get out of there. Most of the time, if you lose them on the spinner rig, it's usually within the first five seconds. And right. Once you got them, you got them. That's a super nice fish. Leech Lake, known for numbers. And of course, a great size structure out here. And what we're doing is we're pulling spinner rigs today, tipping it with a night crawler, and we're just looking for pods of fish on the electronics. And Pat called this one like uh, Babe Ruth called that home run. He's like, you're about to get bit, and he was dead right. See you later, fish. All right. So what we're doing is we're fishing reefs today on Leech Lake. and. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to stir, stay on transition areas where the rock on top of the reefs transitions out into sand or mud. And what we're finding is small groups of fish. You actually counted that pod and you said there were six of yep. six fish in there. And uh, we can see the fish on the uh, side imaging and uh, he can actually call the side of the boat that's about to get bit. So uh, we stay on those transition lines, use the electronics to kind of keep an eye out for where the fish are located on the structure and pull spinners through them. Couldn't be any simpler than that. Oh, there's fish. That one hung himself. Mm-hmm. I love it. Nice. That's the way it's supposed to work, right? Yeah. So one small little thing that we, I just ended up changing is my leader length. You know, we got flat calm conditions, high sun, high sky, and every little thing can make a difference in this clear water. And just lengthening out that leader so they don't get line shy, just Makes that little bit of difference. I believe I owe, owe somebody a hand grab here. <laughs> Another nice quality fish. Leech has got some dandies. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Got a grip? Yep. All right, so far hand landing is good as netting, right? <laughs> Easier on the fish. There we go. Nice chunky fish there. Get Goodbye. It will get a little intense if we've got a 28 plus by the side yeah. of the boat. Might Let's be just a little, hope it's buried. A little dicey. So you went out to seven foot. Seven foot, got yep. It. I'm at uh, six foot on mine. Fish just crushed it. Nice. I think I got him, Pat. <laughs> I was just watching what you're doing there with that fish finder, just how you're hugging the edge of the rocks. One of these days we'll remember a net, Pat. Thank you, sir. There we go. Rear hook right in the roof of the mouth. That fish was going nowhere. All right. Nice fish. What I was saying was, Pat's really got the program dialed. Great eater, if we were keeping fish. That one gets a free pass. See you, dude. So what Pat's really focused on here driving the boat is, you know, on these reefs on leech. There's a very distinct break where, you know, the top of the reef, um, it'll actually come up out of the water on this one that we're fishing here. But it comes down to about 16 foot of water. It's all rock. It's real craggy and it just kind of fades out real quickly to sand. And Pat's using his side imaging so he can kind of see where that edge is wandering. 
and he's doing his best to just stay right on that edge. And that's where we're catching our fish. If we get up too shallow and we're in the rocks, uh, trust me, uh, it becomes a rock bass slug fest and we don't want any part of that. <laughs> it's happened a couple times. <laughs> it's a pretty good example of being right on the edge there, Pat. Mm -hmm. How far are the fish getting off that transition line? Well, there was a pot of fish right here that we should be going over. What's your depth? Oh, so you got 90 feet side to side? Mm-hmm. So those rocks are probably, what, 30 feet at the most to, yeah, the, to if, the right? if that. There's a fish. All right, Pat. That's right on your waypoints? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you're disarming a landmine. Uh, <laughs> just babying them. I'm killing the motor. This is a big fish, whatever it is. Heck yeah. Can we go back and get the net now? <laughs> Just gonna ease him towards the boat. This is a walleye, it's a Kong. It's a good one? Yeah. We've had a good day today. Caught a bunch of fish. We have not done a good job of keeping the better fish hooked up. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Nice big leech lake walleye there. Big old tail on him. Well, that's what we've been after all day, fish <laughs> like that. It's about time, right? Mm-hmm. All right, this is going to end it for us here, bud. Never had a chance. <laughs> there you Sweet. Go. Grab your fish. Hold on, let me get this rod buttoned up. <laughs> Got him? Boy, and there wasn't a lot of, uh, a lot of hook in him, that's for sure. Just that tail hook. Enough, finally. Mm-hmm. Just get that like that. Just like that. Get that out of the way. All right. Well, that's what Leech Lake has to offer there. Caught a ton of fish today. Some nice eaters, some 20 inchers, and got a nice trophy there. It's a dandy. Spinner mm -hmm. Tactics, midsummer pattern here on Leech Lake. You know, these, uh, these reefs um, north, so many of them. Guy can come out here, spend an afternoon, never spend more than a half an hour on a reef and never fish mm -hmm. the same one twice. So uh, great destination. Uh, hopefully you picked up a, a lot of tips today. We don't do this a lot. So a lot of it for you and I was like, how, how did we do this in the past? Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of trial and error to begin with, but we put it together. All right, thanks for tuning into our video. Make sure you subscribe and uh, stay tuned. We've got uh, two videos every week coming for a good chunk of the rest of the summer. So thanks, Pat. We'll see everybody next time. For additional content related to this video, check out these videos. And don't forget to subscribe to In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors so you'll never miss a new video.